What's going on everyone? Welcome back today. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use video express.ai, which is an AI powered content generation tool that creates stunning videos. I've already purchased the software because it is a lifetime price. Uh, it's a pretty good price too. And um, unlimited generations, which I love about that. But in, anyway, I'm going to show you today how easy it is to generate uh, images and then turn those images into moving videos. So first thing we have to do is set the scene. We're going to use ChatGPT to do create uh, like a, a script for us or a narrative. Um, the second step is we need to generate those images from those descriptions from ChatGPT. And then we're going to take those images and then we're going to create moving videos from those images. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. The first thing that we need to do is hop over to ChatGPT. Okay, we're here now. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a story. And then we're just going to use Christopher Columbus, the story of Christopher Columbus, as an, just as an example. All right, so ChatGPT is now generating a short story for us. And you could ask it to extend it or make it shorter, but uh, right now this is perfect for our purposes. So um, it created it in segments, which is great, which is what we want. Um, early life and ambitions, Columbus's plan, first voyage, uh, later voyages. Okay, good. <clears throat> now. Now that we have the segments of the story, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create the descriptions of the images that we we're going to need for each segment. So again, let the technology do the work for you. Don't overthink it. Just use the technology. Otherwise, if we didn't have this technology, then we would have to create our own prompts. OK, so let's go ahead. All right, we're going to create image descriptions for each section. And again, I'm just using this as an example. You can use anything you want. If you have a story in mind, you can go ahead and just use that and do that. Okay, so it's segmenting the descriptions out for us. And as you can see, the first part, early life and ambitions, here's the image description. Cool. All right, next, let's hop back over to videoexpress.ai and we need to log in so on on the bottom of this website oh here we go i'll show you this is the top top of the website just so you know where i am and that we're on literally on the same page cool all right this is the top of the page and hey there's a special deal <laughs> all right um let's scroll to the bottom all the way to the bottom of the page, I'm going to show you exactly where I am. We're going to go to app login. And we're here. Okay. So on the right side, you will see a menu. The media library is where you are going to store or where the software will store all of your creations. Create with AI. This is the money button right here. This is the button we're going to be living on on Video Express AI because all of our generations are going to be done through Create with AI, Import Media. So there are a lot of uh, other options. We're not going to dive into anything else except for video generation today. So Create with AI, Create from Prompt. So we can't create from um, image to video because we haven't created any images yet. So if you have another software that you would like to use uh, to create the images, you can do that and then plug those images into this section right here. But, uh, but, but what I'm going to do is we're going to create the images from a prompt and then those are the Im images we're going to use. I also use a program called artspace.ai. Um, I do have the link below if you want to check that out. That does generate amazing images. It does not do moving videos or moving talking photos or anything like that. <clears throat> um, also, another program I use called um, Open, Open Art AI. But anyway, we're going to create from prompt and we're going to grab this first image description and we're going to plug it in right here, positive prompt. And I want 3D. And you can experiment with these also. And again, um, generations are unlimited with this. So play around with it as much as you like. Um, I can almost guarantee the first few images that you create, you probably won't like. So you can modify those just by changing some words. I'm, I'm going to extend the prompt. 
I liked that the software will add my negative prompts in this section, which, is, which are things I do not want in the image. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and generate image. <clears throat> All right, give it a, about 10 seconds. Nice, that's what I'm looking for, looks great. Okay, we are gonna click this button right here that says reuse the same character. Another thing I love about this particular software, this program is that you can reuse the same looking character for each image that you generate, which is important if you're writing a book, if you're creating a video, uh, a compilation or uh, a series it's important to be able to reuse the same character i like that this program does that so we are going to press this button right here and let's save the image i like this i'm going to save it and now it's saved to my media library which is on the top right of the screen okay and then um we are going to generate another image uh, we need to grab the second description though. So here's the second description. Columbus stands in a royal court in Spain. And again, you can modify all of this. Here we go. I'm going to keep the negative prompts in there and I'm going to generate the image. Reuse the same character. Make sure that is clicked. And as you can see, just for your knowledge, there is a, uh, oh, by default, every image is going to save to the public gallery so everybody can see your generations. Uh, if you don't want it, just unclick it. Just unclick it. So I'm going to unclick that because I don't want all my Christopher Columbus images going into the public image, the public gallery. Okay, so here we are. It did a pretty good job. All right, we need to save this. Let's save that and move on to the next one. Okay, we're going to generate using the same character, right? 3D models. And again, I think privacy is important, so I don't like to save anything. Um, I have saved some images to the public gallery, but I, there's just really no need to do it. Okay, cool. So uh, this is him. We need to save this. Uh, we're going to reuse the same character. Let's grab, let's grab this one. Again, we're almost done with this, but... Um, Grab this, pop this in, generate image, right? We're good. Yes. <clears throat> All right. And while it's doing that, let me grab this. This one looks good. We're going to move a little faster now, right? Now we kind of know what we're doing. So, um, generate image. Let me go here, grab the last one. Oh, we have two more. All right. I think that's, uh, I think that's good for now. That's all we're going to do. So we're going to save this image and we're going to click out We're going to close out. We're going to go into image to video, right? Here's where the magic happens. Image to video, select an image. They're going to be in this folder, my AI images. All right. And here is a young Columbus. This was our first picture, the first image. That's it. Let's make it move. And I like to press this video length booster. I think it would boost it from two to three seconds to five seconds. Almost every video uh, creation software, uh, AI software is like five to 10 seconds max. Um, Let's see here, generate video, motion speed medium, smoothest medium. Again, you can play around with this, but let's just go ahead and generate the video. <clears throat> now this video, if you read here, if you can see this, it says your video will appear in your media library under the My Media tab when it's ready. All right, it's not ready. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and create other, our other videos. All right, let's do our second photo right ai images second photo smooth human uh, i want to do 3d the length booster right i want to keep it consistent i want it to be 3d 
Did I generate the video? I think I, I'm gonna press the button again. It doesn't hurt. Okay, close this image to video. Let's do let's do another one. Let's do this one. View length human. I I want to do 3D. You could do photorealistic also. Again, it's there's so much you can do with this software. Generate video. I think I just pressed it twice. <laughs> it's getting late. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, image to video. Uh, my images um, almost done all right for the sake of the tutorial you understand what we're doing I'm not gonna do the the other two so let's close it let's make sure I generate the video <laughs> all right cool all right so we're, we're done with that we created our images we created our videos and this is the other cool feature about this if you're not happy with the video okay if you're not happy with what you created you can always regenerate and I'm going to show you that. So let's just go to the first. Oh, I guess they, I guess they aren't all of them are not done yet. That's okay. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go. We'll just, we'll play this one. Okay, cool. But let's just assume I don't like it. Okay. The other ones are populating right now, which is awesome. If I don't like this, I'm going to redesign it see, look, five seconds here. If you can see here, it's maximum five seconds. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to redesign it and the prompt pops up and then I can change it as needed. So, uh, reuse the same character, video length booster, share in the, now share in the public gallery. So again, play around with this. I'm going to close this. So, oops. <clears throat> go the Valerie the the gallery and I'm gonna grab this image here and I'm gonna drag it to my timeline so this is w where you will start creating your your video your narr your narrative right I'm gonna take that script I'm gonna plug it into a, an, a narration software and actually this does video Express AI does do the uh, um, the narration and I can I can have him talk too. So let's, all right, let's do Christopher Columbus here. Let's grab uh, this one here and let's grab this one here. But they're, okay. I'm gonna put them next to each other and let's play it. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, it's five seconds, right? So this is total of 20 seconds, this whole thing. Not bad, yeah, not bad, not bad. Cool. I like it. I'm going to go into this other section um, where you can have talking photos in another video. That is so cool. I've, I've been playing around with that. It's very cool. But again, this is how you use video expressed on AI to generate images, to gen generate videos from your images. So Thanks again, guys, for hanging on, hanging with me on this. If you if you like this, please uh, like and subscribe the channel. It definitely helps me create some other content, and I have a lot of really cool tutorials coming up shortly. So I will hopefully see you on the next video. Take care.